welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting video. I got my hands on the new little Juvia's Place mini palettes. I have all four of them right here. I wasn't anticipating this launch. I know they had to use a palette called the Drama Palette or something. It was some word, but it like translated to drama. And so I was thinking like, ooh, I wonder when that's gonna come out. Cause I feel like I haven't really gotten very excited about a Juvia's release in a while. So I was very, very surprised when these all of a sudden launched, I think a couple of days before Christmas these launched, maybe like the 23rd or the 22nd, I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comment section and I got very hyped and picked all of them up because there was a bundle available for like $52. And then I used my friend Angelica's code to save 10%. Her code is just Angelica spelt like how it sounds and yeah these just came very recently in the mail so I thought I would go ahead and swatch them for you okay so the first palette I'm gonna swatch is the violet palette and there are six shades yeah these don't the shimmers I'm not a hundred percent convinced about yet because I did use one of these palettes to create the eye look I have on today so we'll have to see, maybe I just need to get through that first layer of product. But I was having a hard time picking it up with a brush as well. Which doesn't seem very much like Juvia's formula. So here are the swatches from the Violets palette. And let me show that to you. And next I'm going to swatch the nudes, which looks like this. Okay, the nudes look very light. I feel like this is going to look really good on like Amy Loves Makeup or Angelica. But I feel like on my eyelids, it's hardly going to show up. Or maybe I can use it as like a brow bone shade. So there's that. Next we're going to do the berries, which look like this. This one is stunning. This on like a dark skin tone, I feel like is just going to be so gorgeous like a deep dark look at that duochrome i think that's the one that amy was raving about in her first impression wow that's a gorgeous duochrome shade wow Ooh, the berries did not come to play My duochrome is stunning. And then this is the palette I have on my eyes today. It's the chocolate palette. And the chocolate palette reminds me of the Nomad palette for sure. Here's the first three. There's the shades from that one. So they are absolutely fun and stunning to look at. So I just wanted to show you guys swatches because I know you guys appreciate a good swatch party video. Now I did create this look with the chocolate palette. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I did that. Okay guys, so I'm going to be filming with the little Juvia's Place palettes today. I haven't even taken them out of their boxes yet. So here is the little chocolate palette. And this is what the inside of this one looks like. Looks like they're cruelty free, manufactured in China with a 24 month shelf life. I'm leaning towards the chocolate one because I just got the Sydney Grace Enduring Love Palette and I did a berry eyeshadow look with that. So I'm probably gonna save the berries for a different day, but how cute is that? These are so fun. So glad I picked these up. And they all are individually bubble wrapped on the inside. This is the nude. This one's definitely very light. This one's definitely very light, so I don't know if that's gonna show up on my skin tone. Here's the packaging. And then this is the other one I was excited for, which was the violets. Ooh, this is cute. Ooh, and this is the inside of the violets. 
So very, very cute. All individually packaged and bubble wrapped, which is always nice. Which one should I use? Oh my goodness. Should I do chocolates? Mm, that looks so pretty. Okay guys, so I am gonna try out the chocolates palette today. And also these new brushes that I picked up from Shop Miss A, the AOA brushes. These were like $10 and then I got them on sale. So interested to see what these will be like. So I'm gonna go into this light shade first just to kind of see how it applies. And this is a big fluffy blending brush, so I'm just gonna loosely apply that into the crease, as well as just like on the lid, just kind of messy. You guys know the drill. Also, my husband is using his food processor upstairs, but I can hear it in my makeup room. So if my mic picks it up, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> he loves to cook and I love to play with makeup. So it works out. <laughs> Usually he likes me to hang out with him when he cooks. But I was like, honey, I have these palettes I want to film with. Is it okay if I film? And he's like, yeah. So I like ran down here and started getting ready to film. I have so much makeup I want to play with this month already and it's only like the 5th of January it's crazy so I really like how that applied this brush not bad for $10 and then I'm gonna dip into this next chocolatey brown shade also gonna place that in the crease just giving it some depth Ooh, I really like how this is blending <clears throat> These two brown shades look very similar, but I think this one is a little bit darker, so I'm gonna go into this one, the less darker one, but I think I need a smaller blending brush, so let me grab, now he's using the Alexa, so hopefully you guys don't hear that. Jeez Louise, it's so loud. The <laughs> more I don't know, <laughs> the fluffier brush, I guess, just to help blend. My lids feel really dry, so everything's like very much stuck in the one spot that I put it down, which is why I'm like blending like a crazy person. Because I feel like it's like clinging to my dry patches, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm done with all the matte shadows. Now I just want to use one of the shimmer shades in this palette on my lids. So I grabbed this flat brush, and I really like this taupey color, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to try and use it without wetting it first, just to see what kind of pigmentation I get from it. Juvia's Place always used to be such a hit for me, but recently I haven't just been loving them as much as I used to. That's a really pretty color, but it's not, I don't know, it's okay, I guess. I feel like I'm used to them being foilier. It's definitely like dragging on my lid, so I'm just gonna pick some up and I'm gonna wet the brush. It's definitely um, pressed a lot harder than I remember for Juvia's Place. Usually Juvia's Place shadows are so creamy, the shimmer shades especially, and they're at this great price point. So I do feel like this formula is a little bit different, but I haven't used them in a while. So maybe it's just me and everyone else knew that the formula had changed a little bit, but definitely different from what I'm used to with them. So there is that. 
kind of want to see if I can lighten it up just a tish. I'm going to grab the nude palette. And I kind of like the look of this first shade here, so I'm just going to dip into that quick and see if I can just layer. It's not picking anything up. Wow. The brush was not picking anything up with that shade, so I'm just going to use it with my finger and apply it like a topper shade. That's pretty color. It's like a peach with like a goldy, glittery shift to it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I did add a little bit of that to my lids. So we're all done on top here. I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'll come back and finish off my lower lash line. Okay guys, so I'm almost done with my makeup. I just want to line my lower lash line. I did kind of screw up my foundation because I was testing out these Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil foundations and <laughs> Angie was so kind. She bought me some shades that she thought would work for me and actually I just kind of mixed them together and started putting them on my face and realized like it was way too dark. So then I tried to fix it. <laughs> and it doesn't look terrible, but if I look extra orange, just know I had to run in with some mismatched foundation <laughs> shades and that's okay. So I thought it would be fun for the lower lash line to do something purple. So I'm just gonna grab this little palette and there is a little pencil brush, which you guys know I love me a good pencil brush. And I think I'm going to start with this dark purple shade right here. Ooh. I'm just going to start by popping that in the lower lash line. It's like a very dark purple. So you guys might not even be able to tell. And then I'm going to go into this uh, matte lilac shade and pop that on the inner half. And then just for fun, I'm going to add this little lilac in the inner corner. Just to try and give it a little pop of some, something. You can't really see it. It was felt pretty hard pressed in the pan and I was having a tough time picking it up with that little brush. But anyway, I'm gonna finish doing my hair, put some mascara on, and I will be back to show you the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look I created with the new Juvia's Place Mini Chocolate Palette, as well as a little bit of the Violet Palette. I hope you enjoyed this quick little look, and this is sort of a first impressions. I definitely need to use these palettes more before I can tell you if they are worth the money or not. Overall, they are pretty affordable. I think, you know, you could definitely dupe these with ColourPop palettes, as well as like the Violet one makes me think of the Menagerie Violet Ink palette, but of course the price point on these is pretty unbeatable. Plus you're supporting an indie women of color owned brand, which I think is very exciting. I wasn't 100% jazzed with the formula, so I'm definitely interested and going to keep an eye on that, see how all of them perform and then I will definitely let you guys know in an upcoming video. So let me know your thoughts about these palettes down in the comment section. Let me know if you planned on picking any of them up or if you're passing on them. I would love to hear your thoughts. So that's it from me guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye!